Road safety has always been a big issue in Thailand. However, it was not until the recent fatal accident where a pedestrian was killed on a zebra crossing that has sparked outrage as well as serious debate on the issue. The fatal accident occurred on January 21st on the zebra crossing on Payatai Road in Bangkok, and the victim was Dr. Kretai, who was an eye specialist at Rama Tibidi Hospital. Since then, Payatai District Police have filed multiple charges against the non-commissioned police officer who allegedly hit the pedestrian with his big bike, including reckless driving, which caused the death of a pedestrian. The police officer is also facing charges of riding his bike too close to the left lane curb, not stopping for people on a zebra crossing, and riding a bike for which the road tax has not even been paid. This is sadly not the first time that a pedestrian has died on a zebra crossing. Even the deputy commissioner of the Metropolitan Police Bureau admitted that this particular zebra crossing on Payatai Road, where the accident took place, is a very dangerous spot. Frankly speaking, road safety in Thailand doesn't seem to exist. Roads are considered only for cars and motorbikes and have never been pedestrian friendly. How often do we see drivers stopping their vehicles for pedestrians to cross? In Thailand, hardly ever. What is far more common, unfortunately, is speeding, ignoring traffic lights, and even drunk driving. The doctor's senseless death sparked outrage on social media, pushing hashtags like Dr. Kratai and another hashtag which can be translated as what's the point of having the police force to top trending topics on Thai Twitter for several days. It also sparked many more satirical memes criticizing Thailand's lack of road safety. And if we look at the recent statistics by the WHO, Thailand's road is the deadliest in Southeast Asia and among the worst in the world with an average of 20,000 deaths each year. And if we look at the statistics only for the deaths on pedestrian crossings, just in Bangkok, we see around 900 deaths on average each year. And as you can see right behind me, the numbers are actually increasing every single year. And like we just said, this is only in Bangkok because if we, it, if we actually consider the entire country, the number of deaths on only pedestrian crossings actually exceed up to 2,500, up until 2,900 deaths each year. And the issue of road safety actually became one of the main topics among the candidates who are campaigning for the Bangkok governor elections. One example is the Move for Party's candidate, Wiro Lakana Dison and his team, who visited the zebra crossings in the Asol and Rama 9 area. He found out that many of the roads are prone to accidents with not even the zebra crossings and sidewalks pedestrian friendly, especially for the elderly, children and the handicapped. Meanwhile, another candidate, Tata Sidipan, made an interesting comment to Thai PBS, noting that billboard lights are much brighter than traffic signals and that people's mentality is that cars are much more important than other people's lives. คือเราให้สิทธิ์คนขับรถมากกว่าสิทธิ์คนเดินถนนน่ะแต่เห็นว่าการสร้างสะพานลอยก็เป็นชัดเจนเลยว่าเราคิดว่ารถสะพานกับ
Elsewhere in Bangkok, Tong Law Traffic Police will be issuing fines to over 25,000 motorists and motorcyclists who were caught by CCTV cameras encroaching on zebra crossings at these assault so intersections.